Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dilmer and welcome back again to my channel. So I want to talk a little bit more about launching in the App Store and launching in Google Play and how can we make sure and how can we try as much as we can to get picked by editors, to get featured in Google Play, to get featured in the iOS App Store. So I talked a little bit about this in my previous video and I, you know, I suggested that you had a, a pretty good and a professional website, that you had an amazing game and but that didn't really give you enough details so that's what i thought to you know continue on that conversation and give you more you know more information about it and so some of the things that i that i that i do now and that i try to do is i try not to to be like everybody else so whatever it is that you're doing make sure that you're not copying anybody i'm not saying that you're going to copy somebody but you want to create a game that you know is unique you want to have unique mechanics you want to create something that is artistically appealing you know to a specific niche and you know the games that I do they they are very minimalistic they're very dark I, I really like to create games like that I also like to create things that you know they're not the same as everybody else and there are some games that I've done that are you know they're similar to other games but they have something unique about them and that's what you know that's what Apple that's what Google that's what they're looking for they're looking for things that are different just just always, you know, think about sitting yourself, you know, let's say that you're an editor, what are some of the things that you'll be looking for if you were them, if you were the one that is reviewing games? You really wouldn't want to pick the games that are, you know, clones and they're copying other games. You want to pick things that are unique, pick things that are really cool. So what are some of those cool games that, you know, that you might pick? And that's what you want to, that's what you want to focus on. You want to focus on, you know, being innovative, being you know the person that is creating a completely new mechanic the person that is complete that is creating a, a new style so try to do that try to always find ways to to be unique to you know to always stand out and not be the one that is just you know copying things that already exist because that's really not going to get you anywhere and, and that's what apple is looking for that's what google is looking for and so just to continue on on you know what kind of things should i include in my pitch so every time i'm filling out the the apple promote form or the google play form and i will put that in the links in the comments i always think about you know they, they want to see the history of your studio so if you're starting now and you don't really have many games that's okay though don't, don't feel bad because that's okay i was there at one point but you gotta be able to create something. So if you're working on right now, working on something right now, you still, you don't really have any history about you know games that you released, pre-release. That's okay. But just make sure that you know in the paragraph where you're pitching your game, make sure that you describe the mechanics. Make sure that you describe why why you think this game is unique. Why why do you think they should be selecting your game? If there are platform specific features, make sure that you're selecting those in the check boxes where they're asked for that information. They wanna see things like that because that's what, you know, if, if a new iOS comes out and it has new features, for example, when Augmented Reality came out and AR Kit came out, they were looking for games like that. I mean, they're looking for things that are unique. So make sure that you do that. Make sure that you're including platform specific features. The same thing with Google Play and google play it's completely different than ios but at the same time they have a lot of platform specific features so make sure that you're looking at that make sure that you're reading about it it's really important that you're you know you're not always just keeping yourself aware of what's available in unity but also make sure that you're always aware of what's available in the platforms that you're releasing the reason for that is because you know when when they're pretty much betting these games when they're looking at these games they want to make sure that you're building a native experience and, and by a native experience i mean it's you know if you're if you're building a game for for ios and all of a sudden you also release it on mac os you want to make sure that the game that released to ios has a mobile appeal to it and it's not all you know desktop like and for example if you're you know if you have the wording click and then where it's supposed to be touched, you want to make sure that you're really, really careful about that because if they see those kind of things on your game, your game might not get featured just because of a simple mistake that you made during the porting process. So, so that is really important. And then the last thing that I wanted to tell you about is that I appreciate your time. I really appreciate you know all the comments that you guys have been sending me. 
Uh, and again, just to reiterate on, on the Apple Store and the Google Play feature, make sure that whatever whatever you do, create an amazing game, create a really, really cool game. Don't just create a clone because that, like I say, that, that's not gonna get us anywhere. And, make, and have fun doing it. Just don't focus too much on the, you know, the feature. It is really important. That's what's gonna get us, you know, vis the visibility that we deserve. But at the same time, have fun creating games. I think the, that's the whole process. Like, we need to love doing this, and, and we love doing this, but you wanna make sure that you never lose that. Because, you know, at the end of the day, that's, what, that's what's gonna be carried out to your game. You might not see it now, but, you know, the more passion that you put into the creativity process, the more passion, the more that you're thinking about it, the more the cool things that you're doing, that's what's gonna really get you featured. No like hacks and, and, and other things that people are doing to get to get visibility. At the end of the day is is making something amazing that, that makes a difference. And I think that's what that's the takeaway from this video. Yeah, I wanted to tell you, you know, what you needed to do to pitch your game, you know, have some cool mechanics and and make sure that you you, you create platforms and specific features. But what is really important is that you create an amazing game, and that is really what is gonna get you out there. The guys that are sitting in the editor seats, these are guys that were gamers. These are guys in the industry. So you're not gonna get a game feature if you're just you know trying to shadow somebody else's steps. Be unique and be and have fun doing it. So thank you again, guys. I appreciate it. And don't forget to comment you know on this video. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm always happy to, to talk to you via comments, via Twitter, and don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe to this video because you know this is gonna allow me to, when you do that, it's gonna allow me to create more videos like this. The, the account is gonna get more visibility, and that's what I want. I wanna, I wanna see people watching the videos and understanding what is required to make a, a great game. So thanks again. This was Dilmer, guys. Thank you.